all of these stories about leaked photos or hacks and, and wondering if your own pictures are safe. Joining me from our Beacon Hill studio now is McAfee online security expert Robert Siciliano. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. All right, good morning. So we've heard the stories over the last few days. Hackers have gotten their hands on 100,000 Snapchat photos and videos. They're leaking them. This is being called reportedly the snapping and is a bigger hack job than the one that targeted the celebrities. How in the world did something like this happen? It looks like that um, uh, Snapchat has some uh, third-party applications that revolve around it. Basically, they will capture the snaps or the, the photos, the multimedia that's being sent across, and they store them in uh, on these third-party apps. Snapchat specifically has in their terms of service or terms and conditions that other applications are simply not allowed to do this, but they don't care and they do it, and ultimately if you think that your uh, snaps essentially are going to evaporate within five to ten seconds after they're being sent, uh, you're delusional because when it's digital, it's forever, and these third parties are storing your data. Yeah, obviously a lot of problems with this uh, news. Users of Snapchat, typically teenagers, some of them like to post nude photos of themselves, thinking that they're going to disappear quickly. I mean, sharing nude photos of underage kids is a big crime here. It, it, is, it is illegal, and it's considered child pornography. Even when kids are sharing it amongst themselves, uh, and then when, say, an 18-year-old gets a hold of it, uh, they're engaging in child porn as well. And so that's an, an adult fine or an, an adult, um, uh, you know, not fine, I mean, it's a criminal act. And so, uh, you know, parents need to recognize that this is going on. It's a trend that kids have been involved in for a couple of years now. And it's really scary because, again, digital is repeatable. It's copied and pasted. It lasts forever. And those uh, uh, same photos now, it's said, are uh, being matched potentially with usernames and eventually could be posted on the web uh, and associated with actually with your kid. Oh, it is so scary being a parent and listening to stories like this. What can authorities do to catch these hackers? What, what more can they do? Yeah, it would be nice if they just could go out and do that. But uh, the web, you know, as anonymous as it is, uh, and, and there are ways in which um, you can track down the individuals associated with these crimes, often associated with certain IP addresses. In some cases, they might leak their own email addresses or their own usernames. So as, as anonymous as they try to be, uh, there are ways to track them down. And, and law enforcement, FBI, and so forth is getting much better at this. Um, but I would not rely on uh, government officials or government agencies to track down the bad guys and prosecute them. Eff essentially, as parents, you've got to get in touch with your kids. You've got to tell them what they're doing is inappropriate, that eventually it could come back to bite them, that, that you know, sending these photos has long-term consequences. Absolutely. Uh, Snapchat also getting a lot of heat for this saying it's not their fault, uh, saying, as you said, it was a third-party app that was hacked. They say, and they said in a statement, that they vigilantly monitor the App Store and Google Play for illegal third-party apps and have succeeded in getting many of these removed. But what's your response? Yeah, you know, Snapchat, uh, they're, they're, they're a, a you know, for-profit business, and yes, they're going to send out statements like this, but they should be doing more. They should be doing more to make sure that their, their third-party applications aren't uh, online, but even still, they should uh, create something within their own technology that prevents this in the first place. Because as long as uh, consumers are under the illusion that um, their photos are going to disappear and the technology is such that it's, it's capable of making it uh, live forever, then Snapchat simply um, is selling uh, snake oil. All right. I read that there are some 700 million photos sent using Snapchat every day. I can't believe that it's so many photos. Uh, it's a lot of users. So what is your final advice to all of these people on Snapchat? Well, first and foremost, don't do it. Recognizing that, you know, any photos that you don't want your mom to see or your grandmom to see, don't do it. And you also have to, you know, protect your devices. You know, you know, I work with McAfee and update your antivirus, anti-spyware, anti-phishing, and firewall. Also, make sure that anything you're sending over wireless communications are secure. One of my clients is Hotspot Shield. They protect your wireless Wi-Fi communications. Just make sure you're protecting your data and not engaging in, you know, bad online reputation management. Great advice as always. Thank you so much, Robert. Thank you. We'll see you again soon.